Good morning, Pastor Ray here with the Daily Bread. God is good. It is Tuesday, and what a beautiful day. A little bit of wind, but it's all right. And so uh, we're continuing, amen, through the book of Acts, uh, the Apostle Paul's testimony. And uh, today I want to talk to you about being fearless, being fearless. And so let's read it, verse chapter 9, verse 23 through uh, 30. Let's read it and see what we can learn. Amen. It's about the Apostle Paul and his bold, fearless preaching. It says this, After many days were passed, the Jews plotted to kill him. But their plot became known to Saul, and they watched the gates day and night to kill him. Then the disciples took him by night and led him down through the wall in a large basket. I mean, what kind of religion do you have to think that it is okay to kill somebody. You know, I mean, I'm sure they were thinking according to the law, but that is just crazy, right? Anyways, that's just a side note. So, verse 23, Now after many days were passed, the Jews plotted to kill, or 26, And when Saul had come to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him and did not believe that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles, and he declared to them he, how he had seen the Lord on the road, and that he had spoken to him, and how he had preached boldly to Damascus in the name of Jesus. So he was with them at Jerusalem, coming in and going out, and he spoke boldly in the name of the Lord Jesus, and disputed against the Hellenists, but they attempted to kill him. And when the brethren found out, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him out to Tarsus. Oh, right. The Apostle Paul. Now, we would look at that, and if we were to see that today, like, oh man, they're rejecting your message. There must be something wrong. Why do they want to kill you? But this was God's man. This was God's man, the Apostle Paul. You know, and so that, that gives us the lesson, and Jesus said it himself, right? Not everybody's going to want to hear it. Amen. Not everybody wants to hear the gospel. Not everybody wants to get. They don't want to hear about the name of Jesus. That is just the reality. You know, not everybody does. In fact, there are people who actually hate it. They despise it. They don't want to hear it. That is a reality. That is part of the calling, if you were to say, and being a Christian and sharing the gospel. Listen, they're not going to want it. And they're not going to like you for it. And that's just the way it goes. And in Paul's case, they were trying to kill him. That is crazy. And so, but he was preaching and what it says is that he was boldly proclaiming another word for boldly is fearlessly fearlessly I like that so much because God give us some fearless men and women of God in this day and age fearless unafraid unashamed to lift up Jesus name in public it's one thing to talk to Christians about Jesus but it's another thing to talk to sinners right and that's what we need today Fearlessly preaching, ministering, not being rude or a jerk, but you know what, trying to get people to understand the gospel message. God loves them and wants to save them from sin and from hell and from all manner of devil's torments. Amen. Come on, that's what we're after. But here he is, he's preaching fearlessly. And so that's the challenge, right? Because even in witnessing in my own life, you know, even sometimes in preaching uh, from a pulpit in the church, I can tell you with the honest heart that there are times when, you know, what f the spirit of fear tries to hinder and hinder me. Ever felt that? Like, torn between, you know, man, I, I really want to, but oh, there's this pull, and it's fear. We don't want to call it that. We, you know, we might try to spiritualize it. And you know, well, the Holy Spirit stopped me. Like, yeah, right. No, fear, fear, fear stops most of us in our tracks in living for God. Right? Come on, let's be honest. Do real talk today. Fear, fear of rejection, fear of rejection. Nobody wants to be rejected. Everybody wants to be liked. Everybody wants to be accepted. We we all want this, but. That's the challenge when it comes to really following Jesus. They're not everybody's going to accept it. And that is what it is, you know? Because 
the calling is to be fearless. And the Bible teaches us that God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, but he gives us a spirit of love. And love is more powerful than fear. So if you love people, then you don't care. You'll put the fear to the side and say, you know, I have to because I love people. Fear will stop that, but love overcomes that. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to let fear stop me. My love for God and my love for people are stronger than my fear of rejection and things like that. No, I'm not going to stop. That's why he was able to preach so boldly. And then he goes and, and it says they're afraid of him. They're afraid of him. Those, they didn't understand it, man. They didn't understand it. <clears throat> but there was one named Barnabas who wasn't afraid of him. Amen. That's wonderful. But it, see where fear comes in and it can stop us and hinder us but he wasn't and he took them in and, and 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 then Paul goes on and begins to preach more and the fact is this that there are some that don't want to receive it but there are those who will that God already has been working on their hearts and pulling on them there are some who will listen it's always been like that in Jesus ministry not everybody received the message you know that just didn't work that way they killed him for it the, the, the disciples, the apostles, not everybody received. That's the biblical story, right? And that's where we get our lessons from, not from what we think, but from what the Bible teaches. It's not everybody will, but there are those who will. And that's why we can't be filled with fear. We can't be afraid. we got to go forward unashamed, amen, to lift up the name of Jesus because there is no other name through which men can be saved. So I want to encourage you today. Why don't you pray, ask God, God, give me some boldness. I don't want to be fearful. I don't want to be held back, Lord. Help me, God, to be what you've called me to be. In Jesus' name, amen.